Welcome back to the New Zealand vlogs. Welcome to the second New Zealand vlog. I join you today from Rotorua and I'm really excited about this vlog because so many people told us that we have to stop off in Rotorua when we're traveling in the North Island. So of course we had it on our list of places that we were gonna stop. We're actually here for two nights, kind of trying to see as much of it as we can in that time because there's a lot here guys. Like if you haven't heard of it, which you probably haven't, it's quite close by to Hobbiton where they film The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings also quite famous just because it has a lot of its own activities going on it's like a geothermal spa there's like a million adventure activities that you can do here so we knew that we wanted to stop and our first port of call was actually the redwoods forest now we got here last night and it was already pretty much getting dark when we arrived because we spent the morning in auckland with johanna and when we arrived we went to the redwoods forest and did their nighttime enchanted forest activity so i did film that and i'm gonna insert it here because it's basically this huge like I guess kind of like an art installation in the trees like in the treetops so you're about 20 feet above the ground and it takes like 45 minutes to walk around and it's just this absolutely stunning nighttime activity and the redwoods forest is really famous here in Rotorua as well because it has like some of the oldest redwood trees in the world and guys they were massive I was kind of like oh my god I'm quite glad I'm doing this in the dark and not the daylight because we couldn't actually see the ground when we were in the trees we were so high up that I couldn't see the floor and it made me feel a little bit better about it I was knocked down, heard the countdown through the haze in the face of defeat, yeah. This is just crazy beautiful, these lanterns hanging 20 foot above the trees, like, that's stunning. I'm gonna carry on walking because we're not really meant to stop, but it's just too tempting. That was our first activity and then we came back and pretty much went to bed. So this is the Airbnb we're currently staying in. See it behind me, there's Tom. The bed is unmade, classic, really good. I'm not even gonna show you the rest of it because I have somehow managed guys to come in and take my stuff out of the car. And I've just put it on every single surface. Like I woke up this morning and I was like, why are all my belongings across every single surface in this Airbnb? So it's not the tidiest, but I found this just on, actually I found it on booking.com. And the main draw to it really was the kitchen and the kitchenette, because it means that we can have breakfast here. It means that we can just stock the fridge up with a couple of bits. I actually just bought these as a little snack and they're so nice, honestly guys. But yeah, Rotorua is our second destination here on the North Island. And I'm super excited because today we are actually going to Hobbiton. Let's go. Hey guys, you join me from the car en route to Hobbiton. Basically, Hobbiton is one of the most famous things to come and visit and come and do here in the North Island of New Zealand. And I'm sure that you have seen it before because I have seen so many people visit this movie set that I feel as though this is definitely like the thing I've seen the most about in New Zealand, which is so funny to me because like, Tom and I have actually never seen the Lord of the Rings. <laughs> But this is where they filmed The Lord of the Rings and also The Hobbit, which I have seen. And I've also read the book. I liked The Hobbit. I read that as like, I think I would have been about 12 years old. But I don't really remember them. I'm going to be really honest. Definitely have seen the first two Hobbit films. Couldn't really tell you what happens in them. Do you remember what happens in the Hobbit movies? No. <laughs> so I guess we're going to learn quite a lot today. We knew that we wanted to do this while we were here. Not only because it's really famous, but because it actually looks really cool. Like they've built basically the whole set into the side of the mountain here in New Zealand. And I also love visiting like a behind the scenes of anything. I love the Harry Potter studio tour, obviously because I love Harry Potter. But I also just think it's really interesting to see how they like put movies together. Um, so maybe we'll go back and watch The Hobbit later. I don't know. We booked this tour on Get Your Guide. They actually very kindly gifted us these tickets. Um, but we would have come and done this anyway because this was pretty high on our list of things we wanted to do while we were here in the North Island. I can't believe the place is called Hobbiton as well, by the way. Like, I think its actual name is like Matu Matu, but like it's pretty much been rebranded to Hobbiton. Like they've <laughs> named the whole place after the Hobbit. We have made it all good. We got the tickets, didn't we? This looks quite cool. Yeah, let me let me show the vlog. The way that it's done, guys, is obviously like the Hobbit hole. You're gonna probably see it, but it opens up like a little map, and then you got the tickets. So 
got here in enough time and now we have to board a little shuttle bus and it's going to take us to the Shire which is um, I think the land that the Lord of the Rings is set in but I'm honestly not too sure. Yeah this is so cool I've got such a big setup here I didn't really realize like just how massive this actually was and also I said matu matu it's actually matter matter. So cool guys, we're actually learning a lot about how they made the movies as well, like about why there's so many of these and they're all different sizes. And that is basically because, kind of similar to in Harry Potter actually, where they have Hagrid playing alongside Daniel Radcliffe, they have like multiple different sizes of all of the props so that it looks like bigger and then smaller. Um, because obviously hobbits are meant to be tiny and although I think, is it Elijah Woods that she's saying played Frodo and then obviously Martin Freeman as well. Small but they're not hobbit size. Um, so they are, they are really tiny. Oh Tom's being photographer. But this one here is obviously really small. The door here is tiny but there are some of them that are actually like full size. So it's very interesting. Oh have we lost the group? And suddenly on this purpose built set we've actually stepped back into Yorkshire. <laughs> oh nice. Yeah. As part of this tour guys you get a complimentary drink so we're gonna go have a little cider in the uh, Green Dragon. The best part about this is we actually have a Green Dragon pub in Beverly. My family go in there quite a lot and this pub's also test, called the test, Green which Dragon. One's better? I mean I do like that pub so let's Let's have a look. Actually, it doesn't really look like Yorkshire. It looks more like Bath or Somerset. We don't really have thatched roofs. Bath. 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 Okay, we have just got back from Hobbiton. This is our hire car, guys. It's actually really, really nice because inside it's absolutely huge. Like we thought we were gonna have a way smaller car than this. It's also got CarPlay built in on the screen so we can have maps and music. Like it's a really decent car. It's definitely bigger than the one that we ordered, but the best part is I'm just keeping my suitcase in the boot so that I can like live out of this without having to take this into like wherever we're staying. The reason that I'm showing you this is because we have just popped back to the Airbnb straight from Hobbiton and we're gonna quickly get changed because we're going straight back out and I'm so excited about tonight guys. Spa night. Spa night. Are you excited? I'm excited. I'm actually stoked. Whoa. Oh. That was horrible. Why did, why did I just say I stoked? That, that was weird. Also guys, right, when my suitcase came off of the plane, let's ignore the heavy tag, that's embarrassing. It's like covered in this like white powder. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just don't know what it is. It's kind of like, you know when things get stained by salt water? But I don't know what it is and it wasn't like this before the flight. So thank you so much, I New Zealand. I really do love my new pattern on my suitcase. Is it fancy where they'll give us like... I think they might give us a robe and slippers. It looks really nice. Anyway, yeah, if you didn't gather, we're going to a spa this evening. And as I said, Rotorua is famous because it is like a geothermal spa area. All of New Zealand is pretty volcanic. So they have all of these really natural forming geothermal spa areas where the water is like really warm. And they've obviously kind of marketed themselves off that and built a couple of spas around. It. and the one we're going to tonight is like the top recommended one in Rotorua and it is called the Polynesian Spa Resort. I'm really excited there's tons of experiences you can have here you can do like mud baths, mud facials, obviously get like massages, things like that. They have a yoga retreat there. We are just going for their like basic geothermal spa things. There's loads of different tickets basically we've gone for the most basic one um, and we get access to like most of it I think I and mean, it just means that we can chill there for a couple of hours. We have booked their like sunset slot so I'm quite excited and I think they also have a restaurant on site or a cafe or something so we're gonna get some food as well. Yeah we're heading to the spa for the evening and I am excited not stoked. One thing I will say about Rotorua. It smells. Is it smells yeah like it has just a horrible horrible smell guys of like rotten eggs i don't really know how else to describe them and i think that that's actually again from the like geothermal volcanic whatever it is but we had had this before like so many people had mentioned it basically everybody that we'd mentioned we were coming to rotorua to was like oh by the way it stinks so yeah that's definitely something to know if you're stopping here on your new zealand road trip they're, they're not lying those people are not wrong it really has just a foul smell in the air <laughs> so i'm intrigued to see if this spa smells nice like is it gonna be a pleasant and relaxing experience or is it gonna smell of rotten eggs the whole night
Good morning from Tom and I who have booked an outdoor activity in 40 minutes time and don't own an umbrella. Hey, <laughs> welcome to New Zealand. We also left our swimwear on this bench outside because when we came in last night it was really warm. It was a nice sunset. Stupidly didn't check the weather. Left my bikini out to dry. Bikini is now more wet than it was when we came back from the spa. So yeah, this is really good. Good morning from the car. I am wrapping Pippi Longstockings with these braids, but Who? Pippi Longstockings. Who's that? Oh, Tom. Never mind. The rain has slowed down. It's not completely stopped. It kind of has for now, but I think it's going to be on off the whole time. So we have come to the little activity that we're going to do before we leave Rotorua, and that is the Maori village experience that is here to learn about the Maori culture. Now, I really hope that I'm saying that right. Do correct me if I'm wrong. The Maori culture is obviously the culture that existed in New Zealand before there was any European settlement here, and it's still very prevalent. Like, throughout New Zealand, it is a lot more of, like, a part of their day-to-day -day life than say for example the indigenous culture in Australia is in theirs I would say. So I really want to learn a bit more about it. I don't know anything really at all other than bits and bobs that Johanna has told us. So we're gonna do this little village experience. I'm not too sure what to expect. We just booked this last night because we'd seen it signposted here. Very little forward planning. I mean it's probably the best place from what we've found in the mm. country to learn about like the Maori life. So um, let's see. I'm excited to learn about I'm it. I'm excited. Yeah, I think it's gonna be really interesting. I think it's quite important as well. Like yeah. we're in this country, we should really learn respect. about its past. Yeah, of course. I mean, we did the same in, in Australia and it was really interesting. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Also guys, this is kind of what Rotorua just looks like. And this is also probably why it smells, but this is like the geothermal, like spa volcanic element to this town that I think kind of makes it famous. Like the ground is just smoking. I think these are the lakes actually, and I'm not not sure if it's smoking quite so much because it's just rained a lot but like crazy the pictures that you see in this little area yes these are pictures as a young girl that i remember we've been here over 100 years now we don't change her we don't put anything else on her if she does this we work around her but folks, there was a home on top of him, right, on the, right over this pole. My handsome nephew over there has cooked some corn for you. But we put <coughs> corn in here, 10 to 15 minutes. We'll actually put it in a muslin cloth. All your veggies will go in here. That's too hot to even eat. So this was cooked in the sulfur pool that we were just looking at. Um, How's that? It's too hot to eat. I'm going to have to wait. It's good. It's it's but I can tell it tastes amazing. What the rest of your they look the, the... So, Charlotte Clara, you joined me from a different room in a different place. I forgot to end the vlog. <laughs> but as you saw, we set off straight after... After. After. <laughs> We set off straight after this last activity to head to Wellington, which is going to be the next vlog and spoiler alert, mixed bag, I think, from uh, Wellington. And also, I would also probably say Rotorua. I think because we had bad weather, guys, there were a few times where I was kind of feeling like, yeah, this is really cool. And we did some really cool stuff, especially in Rotorua. But the weather did put a bit of a downer on it. And I think that happens wherever you travel. If you're somewhere and it's raining heavy, you want to be outside less. However, having said that, that activity that I just filmed when we were at the Maori working village was actually really really cool like I'm actually so glad we did it despite the rain despite the fact that I got drenched uh, especially towards the end of it but we learned so much and the lady that was doing the tour her name was Kylie and she was honestly incredible like she gave us so much information she answered literally every question that the people that we were with and us were asking her so I definitely feel like I learned quite a lot and I would say that's worth looking into if you're in Rotorua it's like an hour and a half and it's very much worth the money in my opinion this concludes our Hobbiton and Rotorua vlog this was our second stop on the North Island and our first leg of the road trip really so if you do want to see the rest of it make sure that you subscribe as I mentioned our next location will be Wellington and I'm excited for you to see the vlogs this is like really probably one of the biggest road trips we've ever done minus Western Australia but it definitely feels kind of different to WA this is a lot more like mountainy driving and WA was kind of one straight line <laughs> up the whole western coast whereas this we're like weaving around a lot it feels very road trippy so I'm excited for the vlogs to continue do subscribe if you are new around here so many of you that watch my vlogs about 50% aren't subscribed so if you are new that'd be amazing it's free 
It is free. That's one thing I've actually seen that people get confused about apparently. They don't know subscribing is free. Oh, really? So if you tell people it's free, and literally one click of a button. One click of a button and you'd be subscribed, you get notified when I post. Actually, turn on this little bell and then you'll definitely get notified. But yeah, any support on the vlogs really means the world. If you know anybody that you think might like a little New Zealand road trip series vlog, do share it with them. And I shall see you guys in my next one. And remember, it's free. <laughs> Free content. Oh, and a huge thank you to Get Your Guide for gifting us the tickets to Hobbiton as well. We love those guys and super excited for some more activities that we've got coming up.